What is up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things e-drum related, so consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Today I'm gonna to show you how to move stuff from kit to kit. So this can be anything from the multi-effects section of kit one to kit two, or like the entire kit. Let's say you wanna move studio kit all the way to kit 100. You can definitely do that. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I want to do that? The reason is, let's say you want to keep the sound as a reference, because sometimes if you start editing a kit, you go into really weird directions and you forget what the kit actually used to sound like. So it's always nice to keep a reference version of the kit. So the way to do that is to hold down shift and then press USB memory. Now, some people get tripped up here because you can accidentally go to a different menu if you press them both at the same time, like that. You don't wanna do that. Hold down shift first and then press USB memory. Now you're gonna to come to this menu. In this menu, you can choose a lot of different things. And there are three pages of options. But let's uh, actually just start with the, the, the obvious one. So press F1, and now you can choose the kit you wanna to move to the spot you wanna move it to. So we're gonna move kit one to kit 100. And then press F5, and then F5 again, and there it is. So let's check on that. Kit one says studio. Kit 100 says studio, so we did the right thing. Now we still have a lot of different options. This is just scratching the surface. Let's say you wanna move the snare. So hold down shift, USB memory, and press instrument. Now you can choose what different uh, element of studio that you wanna move from kit to kit. So this is really powerful. Maybe you spent a really long time dialing in the best snare sound ever on the kit LA Metal and you wanna use that same sound on all of your kits. You can definitely do that. So just select which sound you wanna move. So let's say you wanna move the snare from studio to, well, let's go to kit 81. This is another kit I copied. So Rockmaster, so press copy, execute, now that's done. You can also move a lot of different other things. So let's say you wanna move an instrument set, so toms one through four. Instead of taking all the time to move each tom separately, you can actually move them all at once, or kick and snare, or all the cymbals. That's really nice. You can also move 50 kits at once. If we go over to page B, you can move the entire volume settings that you dialed in, um, all your pan settings, all the ambience. So this is a really interesting one. So let's say you dialed in the perfect room. For those of you that don't own a Roland TD30 drum module, you can dial in a virtual room that you're playing in. So you can change the wall type, the room size, what kind of room it is. Um, you can even adjust other things um, like, uh, like uh, where the mics are, stuff like that. There's an entire ambient section right here. And I dive into that in my Roland T30 master video, or master tutorial video, so go check that out. The link is in the description below. So you can move the ambience, you can move the multi-effects, and uh, so that's stuff like chorus or flanger. And you can import from the Roland T20 side. I actually mentioned this in my video called Roland TD30 Hidden Feature or something like that. You can actually access the entire Roland TD20 module on here. So if you go to setup and page, so go to page B by pressing F5, press F1 for kit select, and now you can go over into the Roland TD20 side of the module, the TD20X, and you got all these kits. Now they don't sound anywhere near as good as a Roland TD30, some people argue with me on this. I don't think these sound anywhere near as good, but if you wanna move one of those kits over to the Roland TD30 side, you can do that. Right now it's in its own little box. Like you can't really change much inside of this, but you can actually move it over to the Roland TD30 side. So that's great. So yeah, these are a very powerful set of editing features. No, it's not really editing. It's taking all the editing you've already done and moving it from kit to kit. It's a big time saver. And if you have a Roland T30 and you didn't know about this, and then this should help you out if you do a lot of kit editing. If you have any other things you want me to cover about the Roland T30, leave that in the comment section down below. I'm even thinking about possibly releasing a file of different kits that I've edited. So thank you again for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. See you in a few.